Uh, my name's Todd Roach. I'm the Senior Maintenance Director for GCR. Uh, we've been here since 2018, running the maintenance department. We are a refuge company out of the Baltimore area. We really good started the company. It's a great family atmosphere. Total, total assets is around 140. We have five locations. For, for GCR, we have all rear load uh, residential trucks. Um, we're mostly Max, a couple of b rilts stuck in there. Uh, primarily McNeilis and Leach bodies. We laid whip around out in, in my Southern Maryland location first, and uh, we started using it, and the more we used it, the more, more we liked it. Uh, with me having this many locations, it's hard for me to be at every location all the time and keep up with all the books. With, with Whip Around, I can be at any one location and look at any of the driver write-ups for the day and make sure the repairs are getting done without being on location 24-7. By customizing it, we forced them to take a picture of the front of the truck, the back of the truck, the behind the blade. They didn't want to take that picture behind the blade because they knew it meant that they had to clean behind the blade. Some people didn't want to use their phone, but they they all came around to that pretty quick. Once they realized that, that using their phone for a whip around was much easier than carrying a book around. I had a warranty issue with a new truck. One of the pins for the sweet blade had come loose and fallen out on route, causing the cylinder to come out and bent the, the sweet blade. So with, with whip around, I was able to go back and prove that the bolts didn't back out, which would have been a maintenance issue that the weld on the pin broke. So I was able to prove and still, still get under warranty. The, the cost of a blade, which is probably a blade and a cylinder, 4,000. That's one of the three pictures that we force our drivers to take is behind the blade, because if they don't clean it, and uh, anybody in the reference industry knows that that trash comes back and it gets compacted behind and under the cylinder. The hydraulic lines break, the cylinders break, and the cost is extreme if it's not cleaned. But by us forcing the driver to take that picture, first of all, he already knows he's got to clean it or we're going to send him back to clean it. And we can then monitor, was it clean before a major failure or was this a driver issue? And we can address it accordingly. If I'm not checking or inspecting behind the blades, I'm asking for trouble. I'm asking for downtime. The support has been absolutely unbelievable. There's not been a call not returned. If I send an email, it gets responded to the first day. Great, great, great customer service. The, the number of trucks that I have down is, is decreased because I can see things before they become major things. I can see that the driver's writing something up and we can, I can make sure that it gets addressed. Whereas if it was in a book, I wouldn't see it till I did a site visit to that location. So it would, it would get, get put behind and when it Whatever you put something in maintenance behind, it always gets worse. The less downtime you have, the better off in any business. As long as I'm keeping the trucks on road and keeping the routes picked up, we're doing what we're supposed to do.